example like this. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, do the same process that I'd like you guys to do. The same process, OK? So the same process is, first step, group your quadratic in your linear term. Done. Step number two, you have to factor so a is equal to 1. As you guys can see in this example, my a is now 2. Does everybody see that? So we can't complete the square yet until a is equal to 1. So we have to factor out the 2. Remember, only factoring so a is equal to 1. We don't need to factor out the x. So I factor out the 2. When factoring out, the, we'll just leave that. When factoring out the 2, I'm now left with a 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 2. Does everybody see what I did? OK. Now we do the completing the square thing that was on your homework before I was gone. b divided by 2 squared. So now here's a little trick question that I wasn't here to explain when I was gone. You're not going to use this b. You're going to use the b from this equation. So you're going to do negative 2 divided by 2 squared. Well, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Then we add and subtract. You add it inside the parentheses, and you subtract it outside. So you add that number inside to create a perfect square trinomial. So we have that green 2. Then we have 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 2 and then minus 1. Does everybody see what I did? I took that 1, I added it inside the parentheses, and then I had to subtract it. However, here's another thing I didn't get to explain to you. Please note that when you factor out the 2, remember by applying distributive property, everything, out, everything inside that parentheses is actually being multiplied back by 2, right? If you were to apply distributive property back again. So when I add a 1 inside of there, that 1 is actually being multiplied by 2. Does everybody agree with me? So in reality, <clears throat> In reality, I really didn't add a 1. I added a 1 that was being multiplied by 2. So to keep that equivalent equation thing going on, if I'm going to subtract a 1, that 1 also has to be multiplied by a 2. So I'll multiply that by 2 as well. Then the next step is doing your x plus b divided by 2 squared. We want to write our perfect square trinomial as a binomial squared. So what was b divided by 2? Negative 2 divided by 2 was negative 1. So therefore, I have green 2 times x minus 1 squared. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is negative 4. Now, do you guys see how this is now in vertex form? right? And why is that so helpful? Because vertex form, we know the vertex is h comma k. We know that the axis of symmetry is x equals h. So by completing the square, we've now written in vertex form. And I believe for number two, they're only asking you what is the vertex, right? Yes, isn't that all they asked? So the vertex in this case is 1 comma negative 4. Question number two is done. Isn't that cool? That was amazing, Mr. McLogan. Now, 